hey, here's another really cool blaster, high-end performance blaster from geltactical.com. Check out Gel Tactical, U.S.-based company out of Texas, and they definitely have, um, by U.S. standards, what I say are performance gel ball blasters. So right here is the M4 Silverback. So again, you can see some similarities to the M4A1, but it, this is a different animal. So very cool looking right away is the first thing that I notice. Uh, they do a good job of incorporating that orange safety tip without making it look cheesy. So that's cool too. And let's check it out, right? So we got your magazine here. Of course, it's a powered magazine. And this even has a little more weight to it than I'm used to. So I assume that means that it's better. That's what I'm going to say. You got your battery here, 7.4 volt battery. And then let's look at the actual blaster. So that's just a little stand to try to show you this. Because it's so long, it's hard to get it in frame. Okay. You got some nice flip up sights. If you want to use those, you've got automatic and semi-automatic, and this will truly be a semi-automatic. Magazine release, you can see inside the magwell there. And I know you guys can't feel it, but it, it definitely feels like a good quality, high quality blaster. So when it comes to the battery, your battery is going to go in down here, okay? And it's actually a setup that you could even use a nunchuck style battery. That's where it's like basically two cylinders. You can go one on each side, and then there's your plug. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the battery in quick. So since I can stick one to the side, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to put it in on one of these side tubes, plug that in, tuck the wires into that top middle tube so they're out of the way. And then you've got your little battery door, I guess you'd call it, that we can go clip on here. If I get it lined up. All right. There we go. Got that lined up and ready to go. Of course, this can, you know, extend out. And it's a threaded buffer tube, which is kind of nice. There's a lot of threaded um, buffer tubes that you can 3D print, and there's different th applications for them as well. So then we're just going to stick your mag in here. You'd be ready to go. So this one's fully automatic, a true semi-automatic, right? And then you've got your safety. All right, so the Silverback M4 from geltactical.com should be able to get up to around that 250 FPS based on the gel balls that you're using. And uh, check out all the Oz Gel, AUS Gel, gel balls that they sell. They're a good high quality gel bead from Australia. So let me know what you guys think. I'm excited to shoot this one. It looks really cool. Really like the style of it. Um, and it should be fun. Make sure you're liking the videos, you're subscribed and participating in the contest. Thanks guys.